Hi, welcome to Your Aunties Could Never, episode 148. I'm Auntie AK and I'm here with... Auntie Farah. Auntie Nana. And Auntie Sade. How are you, my ladies? How are you doing? Yeah, good. Good, good, good. good. The the rogue hairs. I've not had a great hair experience. What happened? I went to the hairdressers because for once I wanted to get pampered. I won't say where I went. It was very local. Um, It started off potentially okay, but then she didn't listen and I had to keep advising like this is how my hair works so let's do it like this um she went proceeded to do things bigger than normal and um this wasn't perfect and we had to redo it quite a few she did one side because she i tend to do my hair like equally row by row mm-hmm. back to front she started on one side how she did the technique i kind of thought if i do it myself next time i can incorporate some of that because i have attachment issues <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't grip my hair and get the head close to the scalp enough so when I do it myself, especially when I'm tired. So it, it, I just learned a way of making it tighter. Um, but otherwise, I'm That's okay. different. Okay. I can see the twist is different to how you twist it. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's done that. You know, they twist it and, and roll it and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not bad on, it's like it's presented, I guess, well, but um, it just was a weird experience. I want to try. I want to try one because I'm always intrigued when you say that it slips off. I'm like, how? Why would it slip? But I, I want to try it and see. Maybe it's just your hair texture, but I don't know. So I want to give it. I'm not going to do your whole head unless you pay me three hundred pounds. But <laughs> so I just want to take one out and try one. There's I was so tempted much to that. do the same. Like when I looked at this one, I was like, I want to try. I actually want to pull it out, but I know then I have to deal with it. But this no, one is either. there's one it's sliding out. It's just out. that one there. But it's I just think... sliding out already. Yeah, yeah. I want to redo that, that one. one. I'm going to give it a go and see. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> that really slid, isn't it? Yeah, it slid. Because that means her tech, the technique. Do you blow dry your hair before so you play it? That's not the point, though. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just But yeah, yeah, I do, I do. I have to. No, no, I'm saying that's not... I was just saying that's not the point. But um, yes. Okay. Yeah. You don't blow dry yours? When I do it, yeah. I blow dry it. But when my oh, okay. hairdresser does it, she says it's better when my hair's just normal Kinky. texture. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, but I when always, I have to do it, I've got to have yeah, my hair blow dry. I always blow dry my hair anyway from when it, when it, because it, it's, it's her, because the woman did the wrapping, wrap the hair round and then plait, which some hairdressers do. But if you don't intertwine the hair with the hair that you're adding, it's got nothing to secure itself yeah. to. So it's just going to, and I noticed that when she was redoing the ones I told her to redo, she was just t- from the top. And normally you'd have to untwist the whole thing. She just slid it out. And I'm like, but this is not good. No, but there is a technique because I used to wear twists all the time. There is yeah. a technique where you can plait it round, mm-hmm. yes, and and then, then you wrap, mm. then twist, yes. But then when you're taking it out, it's secure. But when you're taking it out, you, you can still just slide pull. it out. Okay, yeah, that's what oh. I used to do all the time. So I used to have mini twists all over my head. That was like my go-to hairstyle, Show like me. thin. Yeah, yeah, I've got pictures. I can show you. No, I'm not doing yeah, that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Show me. Absolutely <laughs> not. not a demonstration. Absolutely not. Demonstration. No, 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 no. I'll do. No, I'll just, do your head I, for you. I actually, no, the thing is, I no, 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 no. You know me, so don't try it. Seriously, there's what, two weeks that she needs to cut. Yes. And she was giving me attitude about mean? it. So there's two weeks. I was just like, AK, can Hang you cut these She said she's gonna do it. Yeah. I didn't. Okay. No, you. Are you oh, gonna lie? To cut your wig. Are you right. going to lie? What? You, you what? just say you've cut mine. Exactly. No, you just say you've cut mine. Don't try it. Don't try it. Oh, the hairstyle. Seriously. It's been a oh, long yeah. time. Uh, Figgy. Even um, shout out to Paula Agbaje when we were out the, um, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, she was like, you owe me a hairstyle. I don't understand why there's these cute people that think no, I do. owe them hairstyles. No, because you'd be retired. saying stuff. Exactly. You she'd be saying stuff. She'd be saying Enemy of progress. Who is our yeah. enemy of progress this week? Auntie AK for not cutting my wigs. Yeah. <laughs> you made it onto the list, you know. Wow, I'm actually gonna post your face <laughs> when I do the clip of this. <laughs> your face is going up, <laughs> and they're nice wigs, you know. Seriously, one of them is like this long Auntie blonde AK wave for one. asking me if I've got a game when I get told that I must <laughs> follow the script because I thought I made a mistake, so I wasn't sure. <sighs> that was an interpreter's time. That's not an enemy of progress. That was a mistake. <laughs> so I've been very enemy, busy. You are an enemy of progress because you're trying to make out like I don't know the thing. No, but I know the I thing. I didn't just have to do we have a game or not. I literally asked the question, not asked the question. The Who's your enemy of progress? Exactly. All of you guys. You're the one that was saying you're going to chop it up and put it in there. Yeah, so you said you're going to use my face. <laughs> All of you aunties are, and, and, and Auntie, and Auntie Bola Agbaje as well for adding yourself to the list of hairdoing expectations. Okay. But um, actually, enemy my real progress. enemy of progress is spiders. Again, yes, again, I was oh, walked God. into my bedroom and ta-da, there was one huge, huge... 
this is uncomfortable. And the big ones are out of season. I know, but exactly. I so what's I it doing? Wanna, I don't want to. And I want to know. Do you know what? No, I'm sorry. I don't want to explore, but it actually stress, stresses me out too. Where do you guys come from? Like, how do they find their way? The only thing I actually Window. celebrate that it's not just windows. It's not just windows, though, is it? Crannies. Mm. Where do you lot come from? Cracks. I've got a cracked window. Yes. But it's just through nooks and crannies because I don't open my windows because I live on the ground. <laughs> no, but that's not the only place in the whole flat okay, that one okay, window okay, they come through. That's okay, what I mean. But you it could just be like, yes, and yeah. not no. Yeah. <laughs> she Usually, can't do that. They come through windows, she yeah? Can't. And most people don't know that like, spiders are always on buildings. If you if you if you looked at houses a lot, you would see there's always a few spiders. They come through windows. Another thing is when you open your door when you're going out, sometimes they can creep in that way mm. as well. And underneath. Okay. Like they come in that way. Especially those big ones because they can crawl up small like they're dead. Yes. Yeah. And so sometimes they just get like blown in <gasps> to your house and then they open up and come like that and run. <laughs> they this is just too much. <laughs> what they do in my living room? They like. They, it's, some, I swear, we had one spider, and I, I think it skidded into the living room. It oh. was like in the hallway, and then it just ran in, and all of us jumped on the sofa, and was like, "There's a spider!" And then Russell just stepped on it. Oh no, I don't like that. I need it to be out. We hoovered it out, and it, imagine we took the big the ba- the bin bag out, and it started to climb through the bin bag, <gasps> and it wasn't me that was holding it. And I was like, if that was me when I was holding that bin bag, I would have. Not the bin bag, the show, the Hoover bag. I would have died. Anyway, my enemy of progress is a spider that came to visit. <laughs> okay, my enemy of progress <laughs> is Tim Davy. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, Tim Davy, the BBC Director General, who is um, basically at the forefront of the argument with Gary Lineker, but also because he was a, a conservative uh, member as well a few years ago before. He kind of went into the business world. So I actually am like, I can't see how you can be impartial and be a conservative member at one stage. Facts. So he is my enemy of progress. Facts, facts, facts. Do you guys have any others apart from my, me? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Oh, you know what? Chris Rock, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, we haven't touched on that. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't like him anymore, you know? I don't think I like him I anymore. I don't think I trust him well, either. I don't think I liked him always for a little while. The, this is why we generally need to be sitting opposite each other. Mm. <laughs> We're always at the other end of the scale. <laughs> and now you're like, you really like him now. Now he said yeah. this. Yes. No, I, I, I don't. I'm not really feeling his special. I think I he's. I, I think I think he's trying to stay relevant, and I, and it stinks. You, what did you say? There's no deodorant for desperation. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. a fact. Yeah. 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 It it's, really it's isn't, you know. Stinking, no. man. There really yeah, isn't. Like one Don't of the like best it. sayings ever. But Chris, mm. Rock. yeah, yeah, I'm not feeding him, man. Enemy of progress. That's them throwing in today. Oh, wow. Farah. My enemy of progress are the people who convicted the woman in America who shot her husband when she oh, found my out God. that he was molesting the children. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because she is a what kind of bullshit. She's she's for the progress and they're against it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. On one of the posts, I did write free her. Like, yeah. th- this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't I know make her no sentence is light compared but to still. what they would do in America. What was her, what was her sentence? Um, it's like seven years, yeah. but they're saying that she's probably going to come out in free. Oh, okay. Jesus. Mm. But still, but you know when <laughs> that, what they can do to black women over there. So yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Kinda, yeah. She's kind of lucky of the sentence that she got. Mm. But obviously, that should be like... Oh, it was diminished responsibility. She yeah, should be off. Temporary mm. insanity, anything. Think. Because the story is like, if you watched her interview, she actually said that she heard, like, um, she spoke to one of the parents and she knew that they weren't lying. Yeah. And mm. she had her first drink in like 20 years. Oh, wow. Or something like that. So, she was, obviously, yeah. she's been married to this man. She's in massive state of shock. Mm-hmm. She's had a drink when she's not drank for such mm. a long period of time. Yeah. If we were to look for any kind of reason why this has happened... Because we live in a world where everything is um is, is marshaled. Is ma- everything has a law against has a yeah. law against it. I get it. It's just you would have hoped that her defence was more yes. diminished responsibility mm-hmm. yeah. in that moment because mm-hmm. of these circumstances. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder who her lawyers were. I mean, this is the thing. But yeah. her husband also, um well ex anyway, is probably going to do a long time. Mm. So. Oh, is he still alive? I, oh, I he, did. he survived. No, he oh. did survive. Yeah, he oh, did. He? Okay. Yeah. This is the thing. It's like so he's not even dead. No, he's not dead. No, she's. Oh my god. Like it should be. What was it attempted murder then? 
No, she's was got manslaughter. Manslaughter. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. But it should just be. Mm. Come on. That's okay, what I think. We all get like, what, but, but the thing is, also, but to them, happened. But yeah. to, to, you know, they're just, they're just, they're just it's, trying to get a win, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. They don't care. It, isn't it? Yeah, yes. Yeah. There's, yes. Somebody was like, "You're gonna do time." Mm. And I feel like in the same situation, somebody else, I bet they would have got off. And it's fun. Yeah. It's, it's mad in a country that has stand your law grounds and things like that because mm-hmm. it's like in certain Depends cases state, and though, even if you yeah, kill yeah. someone you could literally walk out like, yes, like George yeah. Simmons yeah. and Absolutely. the other chick the other kid yeah. that did the um, shooting at the riot, at the protest what's his oh, name yeah, yeah. 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 yeah yeah the 17 year old <clears throat> yeah who went literally across state just, lines to yeah. go and shoot up people yeah so and, and got off. still got off and still got off he Ridiculous. went with intent yeah driven by his mama but you gotta prove it yeah okay guys what have you heard well, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen, uh, there's um, pictures and footage of a mega prison in El Salvador. I don't know if you saw it, like thousands of inmates, bald headed, tattooed, they're gang members from El Salvador. They've been, they were chained together and there's um, footage of them sitting down, literally like sardines in rows, in rows and rows and oh, rows. Yes, yes, You've seen that? Yeah. So basically, El Salvador's populist government has moved thousands of suspected gang members to a new mega prison as part of its war on crime. Um, Human rights groups have criticised the policy. We'll show like clips and stuff later. Yeah. Um, in an article in the Mail by Raphael Rowe, someone had a criti- critical perspective on it. He said, heads bowed and torsos bare, their hands manacled behind their backs and chained to their shackled ankles. 2,000 men suspected of gang violence were are herded into a newly built mega prison in El Salvador. And he says, I've been to some of the most but- brutal penal facilities in the world, including maximum security jails in Costa Rica and Belize in Central America while filming my Netflix series The World's Toughest Prisons okay so my questions are is this humane inhumane or should it be a case of do the crime do the time reflecting on how brutal these gang activities are rumoured to be are they is this justice can we justify something like this no it's against human rights because um, lots of people that were they were rounded up yeah so you've not actually been convicted or processed or even arrested some of them as well and they've had I think it was in last count maybe 40 people that they're saying have been killed in this process of rounding up gang members mm. without any trials oh. and they're going on stereotypical looks yeah. which has now kind of turned into a fashion so just tattoos, because somebody's yeah. got mm-hmm. tattoos on their face doesn't mean that they're in a gang now mm-hmm. so it's, it's just rounding up young people and putting them in prison and what do they do when they get in prison they work that's a slavery and the gangs don't disappear once you're inside by the way they have put out statements that the uh, crime rate has fallen by 50% but again who for how long as well and can you trust all of that this is a government led initiative they're going to tell you stats that you want to hear and stats as we know are easy exactly. to make and governments yeah. as we know are corrupt and the, the crime could have been being committed by 500 people yeah. but you've rounded up 4,000 yeah yeah. I think it's interesting what you said about it, slavery because we all know that what's the cheapest labour? Prison labour. Prison labour, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So what better way to achieve certain things than to round up a whole bunch of people and force them to work? Yeah. So I, I personally think that it's inhumane because there are an awful lot of people in prisons, in the prison system who don't deserve to be there. Right. I'm not saying that everybody, but you know, I d- I d- it doesn't mean that your rights suddenly go out of the window if you're in prison. Mm-hmm. You're still a human. Yeah. 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 What? Okay. Just, just expand on it. If you were running a place like El Salvador and it was absolutely crime ridden, and there your constituents are getting murdered and brutally slaughtered, tor- tortured, there is gang initiation. There is a problem that's plaguing predominantly the men, and it ultimately affects families in general. What would you do? How would you deal with it? I think they need to look at the politicians as well, though, don't they? We know that incarceration doesn't work. Mm. It doesn't actually stop the issue that you have. So then we have to think of why are there so many men who are unemployed and susceptible to joining a gang Mm -hmm. to improve their lives? That's where the work needs to be done. Mm -hmm. There's always the troublemakers. Um, I was watching a Carla talking about just how to get on top of crime in London. And what he would suggest is, Mm -hmm. you know, the kids that may be in a pru, that you're like, they are the influential ones. You pull them out and you put them in a boarding situation so that they are being taught by mentors that they're getting that really one to one care, Mm. which doesn't influence the whole estate because you've removed them. And those people on the estate who would have been influenced get to grow up Mm. and grow out of it. Those are I think that's a suitable method, actually, but it's not putting them in prison. 
which doesn't help. And you're not having criminal gra- gangs run something. So but you are removing some people mm. and there's, re-educating mm. them. So there's some there's dealing with kids in Peru and those type of things. And there's dealing with gangsters who have no heart, as it were, who will shoot you. Even a politician, even a law enforcement person. So what? How do you deal with someone well, like you're that? You're starting from young, aren't you? Yeah. You're but in the media, scene, because obviously this is this is why the it, apparently the El Salvadorian government has done this because in the immediacy, terrorizing the community is being terrorized by actual murder, torture, rape, and all those type of things that comes with gang activity, gang activity and drug. In the immediacy, how do you deal with it? You you need to prosecute people who are should be prosecuted. Mm. You don't round up everybody that is between eighteen to twenty five. I think I'm in agreement with okay. that. And I also yeah. go back to you do look at the politicians because a lot of times in countries mm-hmm. where there is such rife gang, you know, um life and, and society it it stems from them being able to do stuff because they've got a man on the inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you've got to look at that as well. It yeah. isn't just about them running ragged on the streets. Yeah. Any like Pablo Escobar and them sort of people, they were only able to do what they were able to do because they had politicians in their pockets. Yeah, police, all of it. What's what? I just uh, this feels like a distraction to me. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, well, well, the British government built prisons in Jamaica recently, didn't Mm -hmm. they? Uh Do you know what I mean? Like this is happening around the world. So like, how like? Who benefits? But also, yeah, okay. who is, like, there's who lots is, of prisons that are privatized. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah, business. Yeah. It's exactly. definitely an industry. Yeah. Like America, that, that's a, it's an industry. It's easy for us to judge these other countries when usually our countries are the perpetrators or the encouragement mm-hmm. of yeah, these types of systems in the first yeah. place. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I don't yeah. know. Well, that's the thing. Like, like, what else is going on, isn't it? You know, you could, uh, like, we're sending immigrants to Rwanda. Yeah. yeah. What makes us any better? We're yeah. saying, someone said, Do you know what I mean? um, stop the boats is the same as build the wall. Yeah. Because it is. It, oh, is. Yeah. it is. It's it absolutely is. the yeah. same. Those slogans are the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. So it is. But even Could that was cheek. being on a podium, like stop. Yeah, stop yeah, you had it in front of, mm. like, in front of him. Like, that's mm-hmm. disgusting. It is. It's terrible. Mm. They Richie might as well had it say on the podium. Britain white, white again. again yeah. yeah. Oh, that will come. Mm. Give it a year or two, and it will be Suella who says it. <laughs> yeah, you get me. Imagine Touch she will you. say it. Oh my word! Or Rishi. Yeah. No, they're not going to be here for that long. But well, I that's going to be. Th- th- it's so true, actually. What you're saying, it's just ringing through my mind. Just the distraction of crime. Mm. and mm-hmm. you know it's like a crime ridden yeah, society yeah, 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 yeah. so we have to put them somewhere who has made this a path for yeah. mm-hmm. the means to make money and then you criminalise it and then you put them in prison and then they you've got free labour exactly mm. it's a system it's all of that I bet America built that prison system. absolutely probably America were the ones that started the whole drugs war in the first place exactly. weren't they exactly the war on drugs but you mm-hmm. lot are funding it yeah. all right <laughs> next one um so flossing in the hood <laughs> uh i was seeing an old episode of the breakfast club and they got into a debate about stop and frisk laws it's, it was in, like the episodes around 2016 and there's when trump's coming in and all that type of stuff right. and there was a conversation about stop and frisk laws because that's where the spate of um murders started happening for police murders and then they were looking at black on black crime as they do mm-hmm. so that's where it came from so stop and frisk laws charlemagne and angeli were against it but dj envy was advocating for it because he recently had his he at the time recently had his car shot up whilst driving for a neighborhood in new york um he has subsequently changed his opinions on stop and frisk he said he was emotional because he was shot at so in the moment he was like no you got to stop and frisk and then blah 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 however the discussion the discussion touched on why he drove through the hood in a flashy car and why you shouldn't flush your success in impoverished areas and expect to come out unscathed so what do you think if you're successful should you only show your wealth and success in nice areas should we humble ourselves in the hood or should the hood respect our achievements Ooh. Oh, mate. <laughs> Come on, man. What? You yeah. d- don't be, don't be, don't be dumb. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if you're, if you're from the hood, yeah. If if you've got any experience from that, you know that you know. certain people get robbed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know that. Mm-hmm. If you're from there, you know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So why would you think it'll be any different for you? Unless you really got it like that, which most people don't. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, and why would you think and it's the people silly? that go back? to these areas they don't go on their own you know they roll deep like with their mm-hmm. security with people, yeah. Yeah. you know they're not just driving through the hood on their own with mm. all of their chains and all of their watches yeah. and their flipping money clips they're not doing that shit yeah yeah so because you you you're going to impoverished areas with people who are struggling and hungry and hungry and don't give a fuck yeah, yeah? what do you think is going to happen to you 
But it's like you should be be smart. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But um, if you, uh, I don't know, any thoughts? No, go on. If you are uh, a parent of a, a young person, or a parent, yeah, a parent of a young person who you cottoned on to, is there something in the moral upbringing of, you know, the mentality of how you're bringing up someone to think that what's not your what. What's not yours? Of course, of course there is. Of course, I'm, I'm just exploring of course that there is. Yeah. There are also people who don't give a fuck. No, I like understand. Parents, no, no, no yeah. of course, of course. Like, of course, of course. There is, yeah, but we live in a society where people are starving for no reason. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There should be yeah. no reason that anyone's hungry. Yeah. Full stop. No, exactly. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Course. But it's yeah. unbalanced. So you cannot expect, you can't, like, crime happens everywhere. It doesn't just happen in the hood. Either. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. You can get robbed in a nice neighborhood, by the way. And also, those neighborhoods are targeted. Yes, yes exactly well. so you will be so yeah do you know what I mean so nah I just don't I think it's I think it's foolish to do so so yeah I, did you have anything on that before I ask another I, I, question I was thinking more of the thing on um, stop and frisk and, and over here it would be stop and search yeah just how unfair it is usually when mm-hmm. they do it aside from DJ Envy um, and his car stuff because at that point in time, we don't know why he was being shot at. No. Mm-hmm. And he ain't going to say. And mm-hmm. so I don't think, I don't think it's as common as like they kind of make out. Like I was in the hood driving through or I was in the hood. Yeah. Stopping by I don't think, yeah, it wasn't possession like that though. Like, yeah. Like, like, Someone was, just started going, shooting. Yeah. And yeah. then they yeah. came. Like, yeah, it wasn't like that. You're probably it. in some shit and you decided to take your foot off the brake and you went to the, your aunt's house and then shit took place. But you're not going to tell us all of yeah. that because that would be criminalizing yourself. Could be. But that, he was advocating for it and people do think this is an okay practice that's again an infringement of our of our rights yeah, yeah. I mean that definitely he definitely got criticised yeah. for that because, and literally everyone and he even came back on another episode saying I've spoken to loads loads of people called me from Louis Farrakhan not, 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 maybe not Minister Farrakhan but loads of influential black people were like nah bruv you can't be talking like that yeah it's about him it's about him being more smart isn't it yeah 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 exactly you can't advocate for that and your your circumstances have changed you don't live that life anymore like let's stop pretending that when you kind of change class or you make a certain amount of money that you still live that life you don't exactly because there's also people hold on they beg for it yeah it's like it's like they, it's like, they want to hold I think on to it I'm seeing it in the culture that that grounding to your roots and to your hard knocks origin story is something that then validates your blackness and your existence and your realness and it's like I think people have it's not imposter syndrome or it's success it's syndrome videos, that's what yeah it is. and it's yeah. like you feel Believing bad that for that is true. enjoying your success it's, not. it's like you shouldn't feel bad for enjoying your success but there has been a, I think even, was it Gabrielle Union or someone discussing it recently about raising or either a recycled conversation raising sons or children to um that they're successful you like we weren't successful so we're giving our kids a better life and it's sometimes it's hard to they shouldn't have to suffer what you suffer yeah, exactly. for sure do you know what I mean but like just just be honest about mm. it like if you're making a hundred K a month yeah you don't have the same struggles Struggle as story. someone who yeah. lives on an estate mm. if your family's if you're making a lot of money your family's still there then maybe you need to check whether you're mm-hmm. you need to buy all these cars exactly. and these chains and it, do you yeah, are you that setting that your family up exactly. yeah. that's what you need and to be worrying yes. about yeah. because if it wasn't it Phil the other day he was saying when he was a broker he was making like 70k or something like that and he didn't give his mum a penny young yeah. Philly yeah, yeah. in oh. the beginning yeah. like he was saying that but obviously he's changed now mm. yeah. but a lot of people have that mentality like I'm gonna make money I'm looking after me yeah. I'm gonna floss and that's mm. it yeah. do you know yeah. what I mean yeah. Yeah. I can't remember really there was a, there's a, everybody else there was a rapper somewhere and he was saying the same, a similar sort of thing like he couldn't in, like he, he was buying stuff and an elder rapper was like to him you're flossing, yeah? But doesn't your mum still live on that estate? Yes. Mm-hmm. And then at that point, he had to check himself and was like, actually, yeah, let me calm down with all of this. Let me make some investments. Let me move my people so that mm-hmm. their lives are better because it's true. Yeah. Like, that's what you should be focusing on, not like I've got and 10 you, million chains. If you're really about that life, then you're leaving your family to be targets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. To be Do you honest. know what I mean? Exactly. Like, so what, what, what are you really doing? I just think it's a nonsensical conversation. Mm. These people that are starting these conversations, they just don't even live that world. They <laughs> probably never, ever lived that world. Do you know what I mean? me they've only accessed it through music yeah that's that's it it's not their reality yeah as thinking you was going down the road of um thinking of um michael b jordan and that whole thing of him being considered corny because it's like he was studious 
and yeah, and though he was in the hood, it's like he he weren't about that. He mm. was like, I'm going to work. I'm not going to. But go that's parties. that's expan- the expansion of like. But in juxtaposition to the hood culture mm. and that being like, that's our route to blackness. When yeah. you go outside of that and still get success, nobody's really promoting this kind of studious way yeah. of life compared to the hard mm-hmm. knocks. So even Envy talking about like this, there's an influence or, you know, it's like me going down there and showing people what you could have yeah. is in somehow a credit. It's like, no, it isn't. Mm. really your flashy car mm. doesn't actually mean yeah. anything because rappers are showing that all the time yeah, yeah. so and it's then insignificant they it and yeah then all they've got is bust down watches yeah 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 that exactly. only other rappers that, want if they don't but it is that, i mean it's robbed anyway exactly it's like it doesn't mean? actually mean anything your no. flashy car isn't anything like actually where he's moved into now with buying properties yeah that's, that's inspirational mm. definitely yeah yeah and I, I think they definitely do um he d- i think he does a lot of encouragement into how to get into property and stuff like that mm-hmm. so he just def- definitely adjusted his mentality in that respect well i can't speak for him but what he kind of says i'm surprised anyway uh, him and charlamagne were I don't know what's going on with them and Angela Lee at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Because I thought that was the story because she was going on like, (laughs) women don't don't, don't do fair well. She's got a lot to say now, hasn't she? Mm. Uh, Do you know what? After all of that fallout... What do you guys think though? Do you want to say the promise? No, 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 go for it. Okay, so Auntie... um, Auntie you. (laughs) Angela Lee went on to a talk show and was talking about her experience, her time during the Breakfast Club, which she's recently left after maybe 13 years on the show or something like that. Um... And she came out saying that, you know, she didn't always have a felt like she had a strong voice and women weren't listened to. And she at that point said she was the only woman in, in that space. And so it's very difficult for her to speak up at times. And um, DJ Envy refuted that and said she wasn't the only woman. There were women in the background. And um, it was an amicable refusal because he kind of didn't cuss her. He just countered what she said. But um and then other people like Little Mama said, yeah, you were not an advocate for women at all being in that chair at um, the Breakfast Club. So there's been some back and forth on that. I hear what she was trying to say. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And that's her lived experience, mm-hmm. right? And I didn't, I didn't like the way they kind of shut it down ex- um, um, so quickly because they knew what she meant. Yeah. She was the only presenter in mm-hmm. that room. She was the only female presenter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was the only female voice. And many, many a times, it doesn't take long to find an example where she's cut off, ignored. Um, do you know what I mean? Can't even finish a sentence. Yeah. Like, it's just, or she's reduced to asking very silly questions. <laughs> yeah. And then gets ridiculed, ridiculed. Exactly, sort of kind of thing. And it's just like, and not even pushing anything really forward and stuff and everything like that. So I'm not, no one was surprised when she said she was leaving. Even, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like it's almost like you're you're valued. in the group, just weren't valued. but you're literally there because you're a pretty girl. You know, she backtracked. She misspoke. She said she misspoke, and she yeah. backtracked, and it wasn't done with like. I don't know whether conviction. she's trying to. Yeah, it wasn't done with conviction. She. I don't know whether she was trying to save space, uh, fa- save uh, face with her network colleagues because yeah. they still all work on the same yeah. network. Mm-hmm. Right after them. Um, do you know what I mean? So I, I guess it's trying to have water under a bridge in that sense. But um, yeah, I felt I felt for her a little bit. I did. I did. Yeah, I feel for her, yeah. but I equally don't trust her, mm. and I don't know what it is because. I just feel like definitely when you watch it, there's times that she's been cut off and you can see like it's uncomfortable, isn't it? Like they mm-hmm. yeah. make her look like an idiot. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it's uncomfortable. Not just them and the guests. And the guests. Yeah, no, definitely well. the guests. No, a, like, the, 100% I've the, the, seen her been cut off. And yeah. then she said, and that's what I mean they about that question. Up. They yes. back up the guests. That's, that's what yeah. I mean. Yeah. 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 I said about when she asks questions, she's mm. almost ridiculed. Yeah. Like yeah. I've seen that happen. Yeah. But I just question, I find it, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with that she was there for so long. Mm. and her response there's been times when she could have said stuff and she didn't I think that's what I find uncomfortable so she's gonna have to like you said navigate very Mm. carefully how she deals with and how she approaches when she's asked about these questions she definitely in the comments there Mm. was so not only little mama Claudia was in the comments saying when I was on the breakfast club you was there and I felt your shade and then what's um, her name the singer when no, talking about tea I'm talking about. Oh, no, so I'm she's saying actually a one. producer on there and she's been there for seven years. Oh, mm. wow. And she was like, oh, and you can see, t- mm. so uh, if you watch Brilliant Idiots, you would know um, on Insta, she's called like Little T, but um, Ty- I think it's Tyler, but um, she's there 
in the studio quite a lot next to Charlemagne. Mm. So you'll see her. So and that's been a common occurrence. She's in the room a lot of the time. So again, I don't I don't trust Angela. Mm. Like really I felt like no, this kind of poor me type of excuse. I don't think it washes because you was there for so mm. long. You did benefit from the strength of the Breakfast Club. Um, there was lots of times where she could have been the female advocate just in stories just, that they weren't covering and she and she wasn't. Um, listening back now, um, it's very interesting hearing because I, I had a, watching the YouTube and getting clips over the years, I'd never really sat down and listened to the show in its entirety. I always watched those interviews mostly and I didn't understand the dynamics. Listening to it now, because I've always actually been a, a, a fan of Charlemagne, um, but listening to the show, I'm so angry with him right now. It's very, very interesting. He's listening to his evolution of how he's become maybe a bit of a better guy now. I'm so angry with him now. Angela sp- spoke up a lot more than I thought she did, and she's a to me, she's snob. She was she comes across as snobby, judgmental um, of everybody, and especially if you're not making money and stuff like that. She's a bit of a show off to me. And there were times when definitely I could hear that she was trying her best to advocate for women but they uh, DJ Envy and Shani are so sexist and misogynistic especially about the views about girls and how women Mm -hmm. should behave Mm -hmm. there were times when she kind of was like no you can't really say that but there were were many many times that she was kind of like and then you're a hoe and she was joining into that um, Mm. that barroom man banter and stuff like that so she didn't I do see there's times when she tried to but she didn't try enough and I don't know. It's I, a conflict, I, it's right? It's a conflict. Because also as well, times have actually changed. Yeah. So when they started, that was very much very common. the yes. culture. Yeah. But we have actually evolved in a very short amount of time mm-hmm. where women have more of a voice. Mm. They can actually advocate for themselves. But that is not the show. Mm. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So that must be a constant conflict where I want to say this thing, but I can't say this thing because Angela is also a business owner. She's yes, got she multiple and she businesses. Talks about lot, She's yeah. got her own podcast. Like, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. She does really, really well. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what and mean? she comes from a successful background as well yeah. so there's an element of classism that comes through from her that's not necessarily a judgment it's just but like her perspective them, that all of them yeah yeah MV 100% yeah, he he also, also too. like that yeah yeah he he's is 100% like I think Charlemagne's probably the least yeah, he was out one of them of but I couldn't imagine working with them every day for no, how many years not at all not, no. they not without they me insane and they're gaslighting yeah. and they're rude yeah. Yeah, and yeah. They're, do you know what I mean on a daily basis yeah. not no. without not without changing like being what it means you know like um they're doing these rotation through get um guests now well, that she's got this is my do you know what on. it is almost like they're saying anyone could do your job i was wondering that it was just like wow no i, 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 can't, I see what you're saying <laughs> but, but i think that's a business insult. pivot I, 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 what, what would you I do get that revolving it makes thing. sense it yeah. does make yeah, sense, business sense yeah. but it, there, there is um, I, I can't I'm reading yeah when yeah, I'm watching yeah, yeah. it yeah. they're insulting petty. it's, it's petty, petty vibes yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. it's petty mm-hmm. even when Charlotte I'm sorry Envy brought up the conversation I can't remember who was the guest host on that day but they brought up brought it up and they talked about it was it, it Jessica Char- Charlemagne didn't say no it wasn't Jessica okay. they, Charlemagne no, didn't Porsche's say a thing one. Porsche that's it's it Porsche's yeah okay. she, he didn't say anything they no. threw it to him yeah he's looking around say, I have nothing to say yeah yeah but, but it's a, it's I, a I, between Charlemagne and, and Angela. By the yeah, end, didn't really get by on the end, because yeah, she had the, also yeah. they had that conflict because she said that when Gucci Mane said that stuff about her, Charlemagne allowed it and did his usual kick a key in, and she said he should have defended me in that moment. I think that's yeah, part of the catalyst have. of her leaving as well. On, on like you know, it's a nail in the yeah. coffin, and she, and then he did apologize. I think he apologized and said I should have been better, a better friend. And she said we're not really friends. You could tell the more recent shows, Angela and Charlemagne. She's it's like she's just grinding her teeth. Like listen, you I guess you're my niece. Years, no, those no, who have not got on yeah mm. there's 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 sniping between them and and he's list, also wanted he's a other lot. female co-hosts so i'm mm. not surprised that he's just going through his rolodex of friends yeah coming onto the show yeah. some of them are good some of them are Makes not so good, good ratings though. yeah, yeah i mean yeah. yeah i liked um nene she was good Nini was good she was good I like Jess as well, Jess Jess is well. I, I just like really imagine Jess being queen. great and she was she was I didn't mind Portia either she was alright Portia did better than I thought she would do actually mm. she, was, she was quite good um, but I do think that Nini was the best yeah um, Nini and Jessica mm-hmm. could easily step into easily, that. Easily, yeah. yeah. Um, but they also, were talking about Remy Ma. They want Remy to come. And I mm-hmm. think mm-hmm. that Remy, dynamic, I Remy feel, would be fixes it. Because they need a woman that can well, hold Remy their own. Remy would put them in their place. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. The, the show has changed because... 
Angela was not given the space to be that. Yeah. yeah. She was not it given the space. It might not have been her either. Do you know what I mean? No, because she does challenge things. Okay. But yeah. like, if you, because she's, um, and this is the thing, all these things do work against you. Unfortunately, when you're a strong-minded woman, if you, you don't have a strong voice, yeah. like just in terms of how it sounds, you're mm. kind of small in stature. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. All of these things, do you know what I mean? Can be worked against you. So yeah, it's just, true. you have to, your team have to support you. And not, and also, as who was it that said it was a different time? Like when she started, it you that wasn't even a thing. Like now, being a ballsy, bolshy woman is mm. is now celeb- it's not, not always, but celebrated in a different way than it was back then. It's normalized. Like it's yeah, early to, what two thousands or whatever. Mm-hmm. She couldn't have been that. She wouldn't, no. it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have worked. No, she's like going to change the culture, <laughs> shape the culture. You, you would have an club. attitude. Yeah. You can't talk there. to me anyhow. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I might not be nice to you. You might be over familiar. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So let's be real. Like yeah. people need to be honest. And also for her to leave that in that at the height of that you're a young person making money and you're one of the, the, the most famous breakfast show in the world as they say most dangerous breakfast show in the world you're not gonna it's not easy to say because people are saying to Angela you could have just left when no. everything's in you know in you know you can't You've just got to secure yourself. you got to secure yeah, your back I, th- I think more than anything the interview it's just the level of accountability yeah, yeah that's that what she should have done yeah she should have been more honest I was, yeah I was a part she of the culture for a time and then I grew out of it and and here I am now. Yeah. Which I would say, like, someone like Gabrielle Union, she's done a very good job. Yes. I'm yeah. turning her reality, her lived experience mm-hmm. into, like, I wasn't a very nice person, yeah. Yeah. but she's this is who I am now. Yeah. So she can learn from yeah. that, I think. Yeah, obviously. absolutely. Yeah. She's perfect she, for that, yeah. She's, yeah. she's, yeah. Done, she's mm-hmm. a rebrand. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But I respect her, man. Yeah. 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 Like, to come out in front of the stories, isn't it? And actually, mm-hmm. because there was always loads of stories mm-hmm. that she is a bitch and a mean girl. Yeah. And just be like, I was. Yeah. She wasn't the only one, though. She no, wasn't. She, really there wasn't. Was, she had it as well. Mm-hmm. She received it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you guys seen the Amanda Seals? Um, she's talking about the Oscars and she is on Instagram at the moment and she's saying about Black Hollywood always patting themselves on the back and being like, we're sisters because everybody's in solidarity with Angela Bassett. Like they want her to win an Oscar. Mm. And she was saying like, it's just fake and bullshit. Mm. And these guys will pat themselves on the back and stab you there as well. She's mm-hmm. like, there's no sisterhood in Hollywood. And I was like, oh. I mean, it's not unbelievable. I mean, yeah. they, they, I mean they are absolutely branding on... team sisterhood at the moment. Yeah, I mean. I mean, <laughs> depends who you are, innit? Yeah. It think. might not be sisterhood for you. Yeah, <laughs> that's, true. that's the thing. Because if you're not part of it. <laughs> like you may not be in the sisterhood. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I'm not even saying that because I like her. I Amanda. love her. I really do. And I do like that she just stands out on her. Yeah, mm-hmm. she, well, she's but done well. And she can. Do you know what I mean? To stand in her truth regardless. Mm-hmm. But there's there's that. If you're not part of the clique, then you're not going to be in the clique. Yeah. But I can imagine. But also, it's not surprising. there Because especially the way Hollywood and these industries are set up, it's not for us. So if you're going, if there's a role of black woman, this, 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 everyone's going for that role or whatever, if it's specifically about acting. So it's a, it's a marginalised pool. And yeah, there's going to be competition in abundance. It's so cutthroat anyway. Yes, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just like one minute, like, you could be working on something together. Next minute, it's like we're in competition. Yeah, exactly. That's what so, I mean. like, yeah. why would you... Do you know what I mean? You can't be proper friends. Yeah. Unless you know each other. That's so sad, like, though. But it's a, because, it, because I think you have to have that really strengthen. Because you know when they're like, you know, I know that we encourage no, each other to go industry. through things. We read lines together. You know, it's not always going to happen every time. Especially if there's a role that you know there's potentially an award down the line, there's the back, there's the money's going to be tight and then someone of your peers is going for it. You've got to be a very righteous person to not have any type of feeling and every time, especially if, imagine if there's someone that always gets that role and it's like, and again... Look at Malik, Monique, yeah? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. People dropped her like a hot rock. Yeah, yeah. like no Because of other people's this is opinions. What yeah. They dropped her. Do you know Horrible. what I mean? And now imagine those people are now be like, oh, hey, Hi, Monique, hey, how you doing? Hey, exactly. How She's you probably doing? had all of that. Yeah. yeah. Of course she yeah. had. That happens just standardly. Definitely. Like yeah. even in our, in our small circles of the world that we occupy, you can do be doing okay. And then when you do better, then you got conversations like, yo, I, you I, put a po- so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put a post out. I put a post out when I went to um, our, uh, the Netflix after party and there's a picture of me and some friends and Jamie Foxx. There are people that like that picture that ignore me 99% oh, oh of the time <laughs> and I don't mean that that's not necessarily the reflection of this it doesn't have to be that it could mm. just be random but there's a specific one person that <laughs> liked it and I'm like you 
like, like, I know Freaking you've been seeing Starling. Stuff, is it a Starling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, is it a Starling yeah. that goes for shiny things? Starling, yeah? No, Magpie. Magpie, magpie. Mm. right? You Magpie. I'm yeah. saying, I'm not saying on record, record, but on record, you're on Magpie because you never. Jamie Foxx brings you to, to my timeline. <laughs> but do you, but do Jamie you take... Fox, Fox may have brought yeah, them to your might, timeline. Might exactly. In the algorithm. In the, in the algorithm. Yeah. But, but do you hold mm. those people? Do you like... Are you like kind of like, oh, look at them and it's nothing. So if you see them, it's like, it's nothing. Or are you just like, I will, <laughs> I will never forget when you ignored me. So you will never... <laughs> no, I see. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually... No, do you know what I mean? No, because they are too... They're people... Yeah, they're, do you know what? And I'm not. I actually, in general, I think I'll clock it mm. and if you move in a certain way that'll clock it so I know how to deal with you accordingly mm. but in general because in life especially dealing with the platform with, with the British blacklist I've had people come up to me say I've emailed you 20,000 times or whatever and I'm like I always say keep emailing it's not a reflection of you usually my inbox is a nightmare I'm not ignoring you I will respond so there's and there's people that take those type of things as um an offence or whatever yeah, yeah, and, especially, yeah. and, then, and then it might be coincidentally actually someone I had actually had a, someone who I consider kind of like an industry friend say this to me he actually said to me when I get big yeah don't come for me for an interview and I'm like okay because if that's how you're going to treat me and you think that I'm judging you for not inter if you think I'm wrong for not interviewing at the time when you want an interview and if I'm saying this might not be the right time for me or personally it's not the right time for me because I can't actually fit you into the schedule because I'm struggling myself if it happens to be that I'm okay to interview you when you've got this big show going on and you think no because I didn't support you at a certain time that you think I should have supported you then fair dues bruv there's nothing I can do because you don't okay. know anyone's okay. story but thing, okay cool it? but it's it's a big though isn't it yeah yeah <laughs> like there but is I, guess, I guess it's yeah. the same I mean? thing. Even yeah. the yeah. person liking the picture, it could yeah. be like, I'm not going to... Oh, it, it, it's yeah. that. Right. That's yeah. why. And then yeah. they see Jamie Foxx and say, oh, look yeah. how much she's moving. I'll give it a like. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's the same really. thing. The only, person, the only reason why like, this person in particular <laughs> is like, you're trying it, fam. You are trying it. But it's okay. But also it's about my actions, isn't it? As you asked me, it's my, my actions to mm. that person. If I start sitting there you know you evil man and like conniving against them then it's my it's, it's my there just... are certain if we're really being honest there yeah. are certain people who you do want them to see you when you're small and help you along yeah and you'll be like you could really be a part of my story and when they don't it does feel a bit gutty it does like, oh you haven't and we could have that with the pod there could be yeah. certain other podcasters who we know if you just gave us a little nudge or came and spoke on our it's going to move yeah. us along a bit more so you know that's the way of the world you, i do think i'm putting it into existence for when we blow up as a pod that I would be looking out for the smaller ones who just yeah. come in and talking to us or us going on theirs would yeah. push them in the right space. Yeah. I think that's actually important that you do that. I think it's managed and it's managing because also everyone has to manage their expectations everywhere because also saying that when you get super busy and people do, because we get, I, we get emails about, from people who have not done much at all mm. and or even people that email them like you do gardening and I'm like <laughs> we do screen stage literature it's and not, sound it's not, relevant, it's not what we do and they might be like yeah but but I'm big in the garden world <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know what I mean and it John, might, it John might, it might, it might make sense if you're a country I am big gardener <laughs> yeah, exactly show me to the film people there like. yeah exactly <laughs> and it's like if I can help but I might not be able to make mm. sense right now everyone has to manage their expectations in these spaces because timing it's timing. Even I, I've had to swallow humble pie a lot. Sometimes I'm like, I should be there. I just think you can't take it personally. Mm. Do you know you what I mean? Like you can't, and also skin. as well, just because like we may have fallen out doesn't mean I'm not gonna ask you for a favour. That's it. Hundred percent. If I need you, I'm gonna ask That's you. We're talking about that the other day, isn't it? Yeah. yeah after a while, <laughs> you may circle back. You yeah. may be, I'm never working with that person again. And then realise, like, yeah, yeah, actually, no, it makes sense. Like, you know, yeah, I think you've had you, that By the way, have you? You gone back to work with someone? Who was that? Oh, you can't even say. Oh my god, my brain. <laughs> Did you oh swallow? my god, my brain! Did she swallow Did humble I swallow? pie? Did I swallow? Yeah. Yeah. Swallowed humble pie. <laughs> a whole Did one I? or two? Oh my god, <laughs> I've actually forgotten. Just a slice. <laughs> A slice or a whole pie? I can't say no more. Oh my god, so I'm my brain It's so incriminating. I'm not going to say My brain is else. like gone blank. Am I being stupid? Am I being stupid? Message it. Message it. People watching you, yeah, put it in the comments what you think. <laughs> yeah, what do you, what think? do you think I've done? What have I done? A slice or a whole pie? <laughs> Put it in my do it to me because I don't want the world to know. No, we all want to see it. Exactly. <laughs> no, man. We all want to see My this. shame might be on display. 
But I just went, I, I honestly yeah, don't you can't think take it you can't. Take Cardi it be an offset. Let's move on. Cardi, Cardi be an offset for that McDonald's <laughs> ad campaign. I noticed it. I was like, should celebrities have a bit more integrity as to what they endorse? Does it put you off when celebrities endorse things like Why McDonald's? would you think that, that was, that's not a good match for them? Yeah. I've, I've, yeah. I've, what, McDonald's? They yeah. got McDonald's. They, they be McDonald's. eating McDonald's. Why not? I don't. Would, I would think. I'm sorry, was, it, by the way, it's a question, by the way. Did Dunkin' yeah, Donuts like, the other day? It's a question. No, no, it's actually. You said more integrity. So that would suggest that by the, them doing it, they have less integrity. No, well, maybe. Or anyone. Yeah, any like, celebrity. Not eat just there, them specifically. Yeah, if it's they, something that they eat, mm, why not endorse uh, it? And I yeah. would think that they They, they have an order. Like, what yeah, should they yeah. be endorsing? Yeah. Like flipping um, no, no escargot? Like, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? That's, they don't, that's not what they're dealing with. I'm not with. saying they don't go there, yeah. but they but. Cardi B's her personal I can't really sp- speak about Offset so yeah. much but mm. like she's a very down to earth exactly. regular she t- talks about she don't like to spend money yeah. do you know okay. what I mean yeah. like she's one of those types of people yeah. so when like she cooks, she makes, cooks a certain way yeah. when she yeah. eats on road like she'll go like she's on um, David I can't remember his name but she does the interview David Letman, I think it is okay. and she mm. takes him to <gasps> Letman. Yes. and she, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, take, oh, she takes him yeah. to like the local bodega and yeah. they like have like yeah, a yeah, yeah. Th- yeah she's mm. into she'll eat road food yeah so her so I think my auntie hat went on when it was like McDonald's is unhealthy. That's what the part. Not oh my no. god. That's why my went. sister is always because I do. I love. I love a Mac Same. Um, I, I don't really like Mac D. No, I love it, man. I love a frap and a fillet of fish. And so I when we was in smell, Kentish Town, it, it was down the road and fries. Mm. It was down the road. So sometimes I would go there. That's long to bring that in in front of my sister. It's just a constant. Why are you eating McDonald's? <laughs> okay. It's not even real food. It's just going to sit yeah. on your stomach for it's, 10 years. And that's fine. Okay, but... <laughs> so there's a lot of things that sit on your stomach for 10 years. Exactly. Yeah. And we mean? do it all the time. So just leave me alone. Yeah, I, I, don't, yeah, I, 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 I don't mind Cardi. them doing that. As I said, Ben Affleck did a whole Dunkin' Donuts thing the other day. And I could, oh, it's called Dunkin' now. But I kind of like the fact that he did it because he's pictured all the time with Dunkin' with Donuts. Donuts. Okay, that's, that's his reality. Yeah, so that's his yeah. rea- if that's your reality, yeah, if it's your reality, yeah. if you've never eaten a Big Mac in your life and you're doing that's that, different. that's yeah. Different. yeah. But that's, that, I guess it's or if you're vegan that. and you're promoting burgers, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think um, you know I mean? uh, Beyonce gets into trouble I, for I that. I don't like that. I don't like vegan food being <laughs> called meat stuff. Like I don't, so I don't like. <laughs> I had, I, I had like a hamburger. Like I just don't yeah, like when I've it's vegan and it's called meat stuff. I, I don't understand like it. why though, but it's, it's meat-free sausage because you it's like, like a meat-free sausage, like, like sausage. a vegan, <laughs> a vegan sausage. No, but it is. Yeah, but that's what it's emulating. What are we calling it? So wait, wait, so what? So what about a chicken sausage or a turkey sausage? It's the thing, but no, but it's the thing, isn't it? So why not a vegan sausage? No, I think they need to rename everything. So what do you call it? Like a slither or a tube? I don't care what they call it. Just like call a bean it the meat no, disc. I, 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 I actually mean burger. No. Are you saying you, a burger means meat? It doesn't yeah, burger doesn't necessarily mean meat. So you, you can't have, have a bur- mushroom burger. You can't. I no, even laugh. That's disgusting. It's the process. It's the, pro- it's the, the process. Exactly. It's the, what but makes it's up. not burger like because they don't mash it. No, but you mean, like, you, can, you, can, you can have a mashed yeah. burger. Like, like, mashed like, like when, you get, when you get a plant based I mean, burger, you call it? it's, it's a patty. It's, 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 yeah. it's a patty. It's a patty. Yeah. A cylinder. Yeah. In, in mushroom. A plant, mushroom what? mimics a patty. I, I have no problem so with being called. Because when I go to a vegan place and I know I want to eat something, call it what it is. Say what it is. It's to be vegan nuggets. Yeah. No, it's not. But they Why? are. But the they vegan are. version of a nugget. Their nugget is the like their vegan yeah. method that all exactly. That's a vegan made, version of what you made. A vegan, vegan bacon. nugget. It's not bacon. A vegan <laughs> version of bacon. <laughs> It's not bacon. But we know it's, it's a version bacon. of That's it. That's why it sounds it's vegan. No, yeah, no, 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 no. That makes we more know sense. It's not pork. No, no, no. What she's saying, what, what, what so she's saying bacon, there makes more sense. Bacon if they right. said vegan rashers, okay. because it's the, so it's like we said, like with the sausages, it's the actual vegan rashers. Vegan slices. Vegan slices. Vegan then that could apply to ten different products. You're a vegan. Why? You've got a problem with vegan people. I don't have a good. You do. You do. You do. You do. Maybe I'm being aggressive. I don't mind. You're actually being aggressive. You're actually saying. Do you, don't, you're actually What's doing the, why are you against the vegans? I'm not against you. Are against so you, like, you are like against like my family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you, you literally <laughs> were like, <laughs> fuck <laughs> vegans. You just said that. Yeah. Yeah. I've got vegans in my family. I'm yeah. not against them. So you're you just against their food, their way of living respect, and sustenance. Do you respect their way of life? Yeah, just you rename your food. <laughs> no, you why should they? They should. Nah. I mean, I get. I had a conversation, like someone was really, he was also really super angry. Like, why do you... Yeah, he was very, very upset with it. I'm not upset with them. I'm just like, just rename it, please. That's all. No, man, it's cool. 
Can you come up with some names? Because like, imagine if I go to I'm a vegan restaurant vegan. and they've like changed the name of a burger, and I have to come over. I, I don't wanna, know what it is. I, exactly. What, what is it? Am then? Gonna order? What am I looking at? You're making it hard for Thank me. Thank you very much. I'm not coming here again. Right. I want pasta and it's called. <laughs> you went for the whole plan. scenario. Yeah. I will not come what, here again. What, what is what is pepper? <laughs> oh, it's like pasta. <laughs> so why don't you just say it's like pasta? pasta? Yeah. <laughs> say that. No, yeah, you're making my vegan pepper plan. No. Mm-mm. So we did can we work. just squeeze in quickly because this was a request that came in our DMs. Um, somebody requested they wanted us to speak about Miss R Fabulous. Oh my God. S- y- yes, that? it's there. Yeah. <laughs> we, excited. Uh, she, uh, look at me, look at me. Yeah. I'm so good. <laughs> yeah. I'm on point. I'm on point. <laughs> Go on, sorry. If I can zoom in, I will do that so that people can see. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, um, the person requested that we discuss this because Miss R Fabulous has been going live for now probably about two weeks on the trot maybe three and she wanted to hear what the aunties thought about this have you all seen Renee and her latest shenanigans she went she left the UK with no money asked for money when she got to where she didn't disclose where she was some people were saying maybe it was Turkey but nobody knows she managed to get money out of people she left Turkey and she flew to Jamaica she had money in Jamaica and she got a boyfriend and started flossing on the gram. Then she said that the boyfriend stole from her £5,000 and her laptop. Then she came back on live and said, I was out of order and I was vexed with him and I gave it to him. And then she said, but I'm calling it theft because he should have given it back to me when I asked for it. Then she left Jamaica because she said that her life was in danger and she's now back in the UK. Now she wants to go to Dubai. Is she back in the UK? She's back in the UK. Okay. Oh, she's, come back. okay. she's back now in the UK. Mm. But as of this weekend, she should be flying to Dubai from the last live that I saw of her. What's mm. happening with our fabulous? People are saying mental health. Is it or is it just... Um, or is it social media uh, Yeah, social, social media attention deficit. <laughs> is that, a, is that no, a, I made it up. Not a deficit. <laughs> that's, that's a, she just a made thing. a new term. Yeah, and I was like, raw. You put syndrome. Social media syndrome. Social media attention syndrome. Just, just oh, probably going to be someone, diagnosed. Someone is going to be diagnosed with that soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do we think? What are our thoughts on Miss Our Fabulous? Oh, mate. It's just a lot, isn't it? It's a hell of a it's lot. It's just a lot. She's a. She's a. a I guess a content creator, a business owner as well. She's very young mm. and she's known for being like extremely out there. I think she actually became, she was already doing stuff, but she became viral about like threatening a girl and going to her house and trying to beat her up. For a man. Right. Uh, Wasn't it? I don't know if it was for a man per se. Over I think there was a man, a man involved, but yeah. she was going because the girl was bad mouthing her. So she was just like, right, uh, let's. Yes. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yes, yes, yeah, I that was originally yeah. where she kind of like blew and stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not against a little bit of ratchet behaviour. <laughs> like, I find it mm. hella in- interesting and entertaining. However, she is a real person. Um, she is. But unfortunately, it seems like she's playing or she feels like she has to play to this, you know, these kind of moments to kind of like get money from followers mm. um, because every time she goes live she gets obviously gets super chats people donate to her which is her prerogative do you know what I mean I think as long as she's not um, harming those people or being like super toxic towards them I think that's fine people could do what they want with their money but I don't know it's just like her honesty has mm. been brought into question whether she's telling the truth about these scenarios mm. or these these pi- you know episodes in her life but then i also would say that she does have a pattern like she does have these really dramatic intense like quite unstable moments in her life over and over and over again um which some people that is their life so i can't i don't know it's 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 hard Mm. um do I don't want her to be broke at the same time if she needs it for her mental health get out of the UK got nothing against that either do you know what I mean so you know it's uh it's 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 a it's a difficult one I think she needs help I do think she needs help but how she lives her life and how she makes her money if it is through mainly social media 
it that's going to be a difficult one. She's she's caught in a cycle. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know enough about her. I've just seen her on like Instagram and that, and going back and forth from here to there, this country and that, and like. So I, I don't know enough about her, but it just seems a little bit attention seeking to mm. me. But um, what I was thinking when I've heard about this story is like, where's her people? Because she seems quite vulnerable as well. Yeah. You know, so I'm just like, I wonder yeah. like, ha- who's around her. What? That's what so I'm... So she's fallen out with her mum. Yeah. Was her mum going live as well? Yeah. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. That, oh, that's messy. That gave me... Um, with her all separate. China, so black really. and oh, This was when she was in Jamaica. Her mum went yeah. live on TikTok. Yeah. Countering her, what? her behaviour. Sharing yeah. her side of yeah. their beef, basically. Oh, come on now. I yeah. don't like stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's all seems a like, bit... Come on. I don't have a... But it's a bit mad, though. It is mad. Because the thing is, yeah, if you had a child that was going on social media and saying that you are you're you don't have no support, you don't have this that, and everything like that, yes. what like what, what, what else? can you do in terms it's of if they're telling so the truth? Messy, it just seems messy. It just seems messy, messy. And I, messy. I don't... I mean... I don't know where her friends are because she seems yeah. to have cut a lot of them off. So I don't think they have any kind of influence on her at this moment in time to be mm. like you know railing your girl like she is definitely a renegade but like as Sade was saying it really is when you when you make your money from drama you got to keep how creating. do you how do you get out how of it when that's your bread and butter yeah mm-hmm. it's like Kerry Katona like um, Katie Price yeah that's your money, isn't it? So you're always going to be caught in that because then that keeps you relevant. Yeah. So how do you actually even get sane? Unless then you get better and then you pedal mental health. Mm. You know, like, and you know, Basically, this a- is how I cleaned up my life. But I don't know. I, I don't think she's that girl yet. Um, how old is she? Oh, I think she yeah, is like. I don't think she's twenty five. I don't yet. think yeah, she's twenty five yet. Yeah, twenty yeah. two something like that. It's Maybe very younger. she's still really young and easily yeah. influenced. Yeah. Yes. Mm, yes. And her audience is the same. Yeah. And she probably I mean, doesn't like, have anyone. But like, I can't say that she's telling people to go and do stuff. But isn't she asking for money and donations? Yeah, that's but that's, that's but she's not though, saying go and do this because she she it will be the first. Obviously, she had a BBL. It went wrong. Yeah. And she tells people don't do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like I, there's nothing she's saying that's just like influencing in but that there is, sense. But, her, but there's nothing she's I mean? saying. But then her, if we're looking at an audience who are engaged in her behaviour there's also picking up the narrative and again it's it's this thing of whether she's okay or not because if she's mm. okay and this is her spin then you're influencing you potentially influencing someone else like okay drama sells I can make money from being dramatic what can I do and it's always the extreme she's, of those who are in control of that narrative sorry 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 apparently she's 27 27? <laughs> apparently that's 27? what I'm saying that's okay, what does this remix everything you lot just said no, I mean 27 is still, still young, young but it's still I young. would have thought she was a little I bit younger she than that her behaviour seems like 22 yeah, this yeah, seems like the 19 year old behavior. Yeah, it seems yeah. this is like teen. Ju- I've just but that come goes out of back to then it, that makes yeah. it even more like if you're someone who's like in control of this narrative and this is what you're doing, you have to then, if you are cognizant and you're older, more mature and should potentially know better, in quotes, then what you're doing has to be quite clearly defined that you're not mad or you're, you're not suffering from something. And this is truly what you're making your money off isn't it oh, it's isn't removing it? the barrier it's a difficult one it's, it's, a difficult, it is a it's diff- an it is a bit exploitative though. exploitative to who to Ex- her followers and people yeah. believing Why? in if I'm she's not telling her. the truth yeah, yeah. yeah. Because even though that's the way of the world, they are helping her. Like, so say if she's well, like, if she's being so honest meta. and saying, no, but it's true. It's true. It's a if she's saying like, I need money because I don't have no money. Yeah. Where's the lie? Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> and you either engage well, or you don't. The story, the story that you've given to, to get there in order to get because if you're just sitting there and you just broke because, because you don't want to do anything. She's leaving but England needs... for her mental health. Yes, and then two seconds later, first, yeah, and at first she wasn't disclosing which, which makes sense. Nobody knew where she is. That was. Like she half an hour, under, it seemed like. No, she could, she could be under threat. You don't know. True. Do you know Because I'm mean? sure, like, there was content. I'm sure I've seen content of her with her bags. Yeah, and all yeah, of that. Yeah, all yeah, of that. Yeah. 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 But to me, but it felt like very quickly, story. everything was okay. And then very yeah, quickly, it, it was it a drama, was, drama, drama, she drama where again. She was. Yeah. And then she said, they had told me it was furnished. I only have £600 to my name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So can you help me? And people <laughs> sent her money so that she could, like, literally she was in an apartment with nothing around her. I didn't fall did for she, it. Did she have, like, 
a, a bonnet on. Am I? Am I yeah. Dreaming? She yeah. often yeah. goes live yeah. with a bonnet yeah. on. I feel she, like I saw her in a room. Yeah. yeah, but I just, I'm just because as you lot are talking, it's like bits are coming <laughs> back yeah, to yeah, yeah. So I feel like she was in a room. She was in her bonnet, lying on her bed. In a yeah, bed. Bed. No, no, we no. might get cussed got, out for this, by the way. She got Why? Why? <laughs> because we're chatting after. Oh, she might cuss us. Oh, that's that will help, isn't it? Go on, let's go. But if she's gonna cuss us, then cuss us, innit? You do you, boo boo. Like we're not saying nothing wrong. We're just repeating what it is that you did. Yeah, we did. You we did that, right? We was requested to talk on this anyway. Yes, so, and she did, did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did. She did. She yeah. did. No, they gave her money enough so that she could buy a bed, and um, mm. she had furniture in okay. that first location, and then. The next life she left that location and then was in Jamaica, Jamaica living yeah. her best life. And Enjoying. everyone was like, and yeah. hold on, you're depressed, sad, See, and I broke. I think this is when but I tapped out. But the, but the yeah. thing is, this is what I'm this is the thing. Right, okay, that's like the crux of yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, what I think people sometimes have a problem with is just like, if you are saying that you're down yeah. every time Facts. I see you yeah. you have to be down yeah and that's like, true and it's also like grieving as well. yeah. yeah exactly that's that's right. thing. Yes. Like, so there is that thing in people that they have that well, well you can't be happy because right. I just gave you £10 for, to, to help you literally had someone say that to me do you yeah. mean no but it's like, true so it's true it's just like when my granddad like my brother his old I digress but basically when my grand passed away like we were in Grenada and we must have like taken my mum somewhere to to get a drink here yeah? and he posted our family whatever his old employers tried to say that he was living his life in yeah. Grenada and it, and, and oh. it doesn't look like he's grieving mm. yeah, it's like lot. you know but I got involved in it it's like, yeah there's that there is that people, judgment so I understand what you mean yeah. like, yeah, there is that. you're That's not going to see someone down like just because you're bit, depressed yeah. you're going through stuff it doesn't mean that every single second of the waking day you're going to look like yes yeah. and also That's not gonna I, be it. I just think like she is able to live her life at this moment in time we're assuming it's all on donations. That could just be a portion of her money. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because she, you know, she does numbers, so she's probably getting money from yeah, these platforms too. Yeah. So, like, she's able to live her life like that. Many people can't live their That's life true. like yeah. that, you know. And, and, that, and, and, and honestly, won't. that That's that rubs way, people yeah. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, how yeah. are you getting away yeah. with this? Yeah. How are you getting away with this? But it's not even like at the forefront of your mind, jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it's just like, oh, I don't like her. But you don't know why. Why don't you like it? Exactly. Like, what is it under the surface? But again, have you not heard the Ardy song? So no. the, little Ooh, boy, the little boy, the little boy, no, not that one. Oh. He's got what the one Kate that he Burns, had before sorry. that. He's it's like, and it basically it's talking about one. He posted there's someone on social media who just doesn't like him and was ranting about the fact that oh look at him why is he popular like, and then it's, and it's basically because. You're just upset that it's not you, isn't it? Mm. Like, <laughs> you you don't even you can't even articulate what it really is, but you're just upset that it's, it's not, not you. It. Just don't like him. I get that. I get that. So yeah, I think she just gets a lot. Of, I mean, she has never been, she she hasn't been arrested. No. Do you know what I mean? Like she's she, uh, as far as I know, she's got no convictions. She's living her normal life. She's she's living her life. Her life. Yeah. yeah. She wants Do you to know what I mean? And some people just don't have uh, the network, the upbringing, the balance, the the nurturing, the love. Like, do you know what I mean? All of these things could be aspects that have affected her in terms of how she gets into these situations. Yeah. Mm. You know. I think that that's definitely it, isn't it? And she's sharing her her mess. Mm. I mean, I would love to talk to her. Yeah. That would be an interesting convo. Um, our fabulous aunties want to talk to you. Yeah. Just a little chat. Just a little chat. <laughs> yeah, it'll be not come to, <laughs> talk to aunties. Even just to see where her <laughs> head is at. Just so. a little chat. <laughs> it would be, not, it would be nice <laughs> to see where chat. her head is at. Yeah. Uh, her last get behind it. certain types of abuses that she had been through. Oh, oh, oh God. Which gave a little bit more context to okay. how chaotic her she life is, is as mm. well. Um, but even that, you know, there's, I guess in she's the eldest child there was mm. like a real i still got to maintain my family mm. and be the big sister mm. and it was like yeah you're more complicated i get how people feed into her life when you watch her a lot it's like she's complicated but i just hope she's okay and yeah, this isn't amazing. another kind of gamming 
yeah. scenario. You but say I, an, I even say you can't say another. I'm not talking about for her. I'm okay. talking about in terms of in general. general that yeah. experiences like, have happened. Yeah, yeah. You, episodes. You have start happened. to you know there's like that it's couple not, um, when they were caught out for being scammers in a long form. Um, I think one of them is called D- Dinah. There are two Americans. It's like they said that they were married and they're not married. Oh and they wow, got all of that. People feeding into mm. their businesses and people thought they were oh, Christian and they weren't. Yeah, I think and the, all of that. It's I not like um, what's that? What's that church? It's Spack Nation. It. Yeah, it's not Spack Nation. She's not. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, the girl from the She's an actual convicted yeah, yeah. scammer. She. Yeah. That's what she. Does. Oh, um, Miriam. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Miriam. Miriam. Yeah, yeah, Miriam. yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's, yeah. yeah. I but don't want it to be the yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Miriam is a perfect one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Getting people to be like, oh, well, I'm a, I was a convict, now yeah. I've changed my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's... loads of people really bought into her yeah. Yeah. life change, but she was scamming people. She was still yeah. scamming. I don't think I or don't now. think Miss Arthur Fabulous is that. Do you know what I mean? That is someone that's been convicted of their crime, like, mm. do you know what I mean? And, and owned up to it. Um, not necessarily gave remorse, but did say, I did this. Yeah, and carried on. And carried yeah. on, re- yeah. regardless. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, time for Auntie's No Best. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, let's do this one. <laughs> so, Auntie's No Best. This is something that I saw. A fear of ageing. Black don't crack. Why the language around black women and ageing needs to change. Um, there's an article by in L by Keats Reed who explores the pressures of saying black don't crack and how it doesn't afford black women in, speci- in particular the freedom to age in peace I mean there's a whole story and we can share the link it's a bit long to get into but I think I don't know what you guys feel on that top line it's just a, is this just one person's opinion that has been forced yeah. upon us or? it's not being forced I'm just saying it's, it's something to explore <laughs> because do you know why okay let me give okay, yeah, to okay, my, go, 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 oh, go, go. Oh, that's because, interesting because yeah, yeah, we're like, sitting here yeah, looking, yeah, looking like, at like, age no, <laughs> so, yeah, no I know really oh, okay. like, it's, it's fact because story. sometimes like do you know me people get platforms yeah they will get platforms <coughs> to give their opinion, but it's not the voice of the many. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, no. Yes. Yeah. Not, so I'm just yeah, asking. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, that, what, yeah okay. It's not the same as... actually yeah, saying? Yeah, it's not the, the same as when it's like, black women are strong and like, mm-hmm. let's get rid of that. You know, we're yeah. also mm-hmm. not strong all the time and we're vulnerable and all that. That's different. But, but are black, black women actually complaining about... Uh, like, I don't know about that. It was just seeing this story and thinking, oh, I wonder if that's a thing because we all get complimented for not looking our age. And is that pressure... When you because the other day, I think the other day I was think I was I, I had a thought that when I stop looking like too young for my or not young uh, when I stop looking not looking my age right when I stop not looking oh, my you age, start looking your age. Your thank age. you thank you thank you when I start looking my age mm-hmm. is that going to affect me in some way am I going to feel pressures am I going to feel like why would you start looking your age I because I think because aging happens but I, no, no, but, no, what no if, but still but just because aging happens doesn't mean you look your age but when it but you can do no, I'm just saying like my dad never did much older but, than right, what and my mum never does do you know what I mean yeah. Yeah. Same. Same. so yeah. I think that it's like to who though because amongst black people we don't have like black people don't look the same at 70 as non-black people think, look at 70 yeah, yeah. do you Genuine, know what I mean so to, so so Marlon Wayne said so it about on Jimmy Fallon so isn't it yeah what, saying, um, no, he was no, saying no. that um, okay. white people and black people 50 he, he's turned no, but black it's, people no, but 50 it's true. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get it I get it, I get it. No, yeah. no, 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 that's actually quite real but I've only really heard of this with industry people where there is a perpetual perception that black like literally like Angela Bassett yeah black Mm -hmm. women always look good yeah now that's not everybody's genes no some people Mm. are going to get lines yes Yes. and so I get that there would be a thing of no but you guys always look good and if you're one of the ones where your genes aren't like that you weren't all on the all on the butters (laughs) and maybe there was more lines that came along there may be a pressure I get, believe that. Show me, everything. okay, right mm. in in this same industry. <laughs> show yeah. me, yeah. You want well, us to uh, name names? No, I want. I want to know, like, of our non-black counterparts, who of them look don't look their age? Who 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 who's, who's, a, aged? who's a white don't okay. crack person? So, yeah, as in who who who's looks a white don't, don't think, crack? Yeah. No, I think there's white who people. Older? I think there's who white younger? older. I think there's older white people. Not that necessarily look just good. white, but non-black people. Who don't look their age? No, I don't. Pay uh, who attention. you would say like, oh, they aged well. So, yeah. it, so it's like even to. Oh, do you the know black what I mean? don't crack narrative. Yeah. 
for them. I think Helen Mirren looks amazing. Yeah, she's aged well. Yeah, mm. but that's that. That's different to what you're saying, isn't it? Yes. Like, I'm thinking of who's the version of us. No, it is different because I'm thinking the version of us. Angela Bassett. Who's Angela Bassett? Oh, in non-black. Yeah. Or non-black. Non-black. Who's Angela Bassett? I can't think of anybody that hasn't had surgery. I haven't named it either. Name? What do you mean? God. I can't speak today. I haven't taken any notice. Sorry, okay. I don't know why I said name. No, there's nobody that's coming to mind. But I, I even if they have had a surgery, lot of, um, black actresses who do hit the Botox and who have had surgery, yeah, mm. and they did it before you would be like, oh, they're aging, yes, because they probably are keeping up with the black don't crack narrative. I think that is a thing. But, but I think it's just that in Hollywood, I think it's just a youthful narrative anyway. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I Maybe there's an additional pressure. Maybe there is an additional pressure could, if you are black, mm. but like you you look younger anyway. I think, but, like, but then I think in our communities, I think it's not just in a Hollywood level. I, I was thinking that in amongst, because we say it, it's not like it's something that's just at, we, at leveraged at uh, Hollywood people. Yeah. It's in your own communities that if you, because I saw some, I've seen, when I was in the hairdresser specifically, there were some people I was like, ooh, you look rough, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they, <laughs> but did they look older? But, because but, you know but, but they're not, yeah, it, How... it, it, it coupled in with, to me, unless like they were dramatically like 60 and they're actually 30, it, they looked, to me, without knowing their age, they looked their age they mm -hmm. looked they don't look well kept well kept right yeah so then i was thinking that it will still apply because when everyone blanketly said blank blanket says black don't crack if you don't it's still an imposed beauty standard it's yes. still an imposed yeah. goal yeah. to be like you because i think that there's not yeah. everyone we are but are, are we like i just don't know sometimes i feel like okay yes it it, it, it is do you know <coughs> what i mean and like for the majority i would say i'm gonna really generalise we don't crack in the same way no we don't do you know what I mean it's as that part you in know, the same in way in the same, same way, way. Right. you yeah. know so that I think I think that's that but that doesn't mean that it's an it, it translates absolutely into an added pressure it could just be an acknowledgement of this is what mm. it is for us do okay. you know what I mean instead of turning it into this thing where a it's just like issue. yeah I don't oh have my god yeah. I'm so oppressed yeah. I'm not oppressed yeah, yeah, by that yeah. but yeah. we're not that's like someone that because I've never had to worry about my bum bum um, yeah. but there are people who have a uh, yeah. flat bum or black specifically black women with a flat bum yeah. have struggled or black women who are slim and don't have a curvy figure Then and so then this black don't crack sits in that oh, bracket so I just wondered if I might, I might be in to, I don't know. I can, I can see I, how I'm, it is I'm fatigued of having issues to worry I get, about. I understand. I understand. <laughs> yeah, I'm That's not sure. I understand that. I, I understand. Don't feel that. And out there, like, just don't feel that pressure. But I'm just saying, if freeing ourselves of that, because if someone's mentioned, but if, it, if it's not a pressure, why am I freeing myself? But well, those who yeah, yeah, might do. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. No, yeah. like, I go back. I get it. I go back to what I said. It's like who's who. When we say black don't crack yet. We're referring, we're looking at ourselves and looking at others. Other in comparison. The, uh, in comparison. Right. It's not a pressure. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I, I, I because don't, you don't look your age, though. No, but even but many, like my mum like, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> like it's comparison. So I just. Feel like, <laughs> do you know saying? what? Yeah. But it's, no, no, but it's not. It's not okay. So we could say we could be the isolation of this, and I'm thinking you're in of, a bubble. Yes, mm. I think we literally are. Um, <laughs> and I, I faced it actually with the shop. I didn't know that there were so many black women mm. over here that had surgery. I, I didn't think okay. it was a thing wow. for us yet. I, I was and this is normal people literally work in a bank normal they're not in the industry or anything they're just going out raving mm -hmm. and the amount of them that had BBLs and mm -hmm. get lip injections and do, uh, do stuff Botox, surprising very surprising so it's definitely is a thing that we're not having those same types of conversations like white spaces are about the beauty industry actually being a part of black culture because we have this narrative. Like, so I, I, I am like, actually, I, I feel like it's a bit naive to like be like, trends. it's not a thing. Yeah. I feel like that's trends. I think it's like, if you're in that culture, I mean, if you're at that age and you grow up with certain things, then you're going to have that trend. Just like when we were younger, although no one in this room has, but definitely have a lot of black friends that got their boobs done, for example because that was mm. the thing yeah. so we're in a different trend of like what the aesthetic to aspire to is or do you know what I mean and, a lot, and then a lot of and then it's access as well yeah. kind of thing in terms of like yeah. you know 
the prices have changed yep. in terms yep. of like how Finally. you can get things. Yeah. Yeah. You can go to Turkey now. Yep. <laughs> to yeah. Which a lot of them have done. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? And it's a lifestyle thing too. Do you know what I mean? We in this social media age, if you're getting your fillers, your mm. do you know what I mean? Your Botox and stuff, it's seen as like a part of like beauty maintenance. Yeah. So then should you know? we well, should, should we remove that well, like black don't crack though? Because no. it's not because it does crack if you're going to get stuff done. No, no, it doesn't. No, that's Those the thing. Like it's not in, it. our, in our no, no, world. No, no, no. But that is not in, indicative of saying black don't crack. That yeah. doesn't mean that. That means that you are following beauty trends that are more than norm, and black women are also participating in it. That's not saying black don't yeah. crack. It's two different things. That's what I think. No, I think it probably is a part of the same because there is still a youthfulness that you expect. From a black woman, from a I black think woman, it's, especially. Not everybody is going to. But have. that doesn't mean that's the reason why you're going to get those things done. It doesn't. I don't know if, if I all agree. your girl, if all your girls in Essex are going to get lip fillers and you're the only black girl there, then you're going to go get lip fillers with your friends. That doesn't mean oh, I'm trying to look young. We're all doing the same that's, thing to represent that we've got money, we've got access, we are these types of girls. There's that, but then there's also when you're talking about a, a woman who's middle aged and who is you know under, looking at these beauty trends, and yes, there's now more things. Except accessible and it's become more acceptable my wrinkles are starting to show and actually now I'm it's not I'm now. bucking the trend of black don't crack I'm actually seeing cracks whether are they're you cracking? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying but if you're seeing well, the cracks gonna, but, but again I have to thing. go back in I don't comparison, think people are going to look at you and think yeah, you're cracking because I no, think then in then comparison people, to who and no, it's also in our circle yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm our, talking about like, but in our circle do you feel like you're not you're cracking not me no but that's what you're saying when I look at people like who are our age yeah across <laughs> across the colours of the world right the colours yeah. of the world like when I look at those things yeah we I can say black don't crack but my point because is- even the ones who have cracked even the black yellow who have cracked who are our age in comparison to others they still but don't that's look but that's what I'm trying to get back to but that is down to that's down to also how you manage yourself isn't it exactly. like it, culturally black people we moisturise yeah. right mm. so culturally if we're going to moisture we would like a lot of this beauty trend shit that they say no do this and look after your skin we've been doing that from since we've been able to fucking well, wake up and, I, yeah. but exactly, I, but because, I'm exactly so because of that our, I think the way that our skin is is different anyway yeah no but what, what I'm saying is in forget them for a minute yeah. because we say it to ourselves as well so yes, then when you get we, I and we, that. so yeah. I'm saying that that's what I'm just saying that so in in our black world in our black community there are people that crack at different stages yeah. so it's those who are cracking without before it's like yes that yes bucket, they yeah. do but yeah. like so but I'm just still, saying that but still that's still I don't think it's necessarily maybe it's a no I'm not even going to give it a maybe I don't think it's necessarily a norm thought to say because people have said black don't crack I can't crack do you yeah. know what I mean I think it's more of an acceptance of like okay this is my reality do you know what I mean that's, that's you don't think that someone would like if I'm like that someone would think I can't crack. You don't think so. I think so. No, I, I think, think I don't think like <coughs> the majority of black women are thinking I'm going to be cracking soon. I don't think I don't think you would think that. But if you notice that you're cracking no, a bit at a time when you're no, two but, different but things, do you, you see what I mean? But like, then don't you just not, maintain like okay, so I might add something to my skin te- skincare rout- routine now I that I wasn't that. adding before but it's not a case of like I'm feeling the pressure of I must not look like I can I'm showing my age ever I don't feel but that but women feel that in general not to show their age so yeah. that's the thing so then we've got the yes, we've got the extra added specific we've got an extra added benefit of, of being black bl- being and black cracking. that's the thing this article is trying to say that black women have this additional pressure because of black don't crack right that's mm-hmm. what the article is trying to say I'm just saying in my lived experience you don't no. do you know what I mean I can't speak for all of you but like I don't have this conversation you don't. I, get, I get that I don't have this yeah. conversation with many no me neither Black it's women. just something yeah. I've so just seen. What yeah, saying, yeah. Like, but what so, I'm saying yeah. is like it makes me. It, this is why I get fatigued with these things. It's just someone has a point. They have a nuanced viewpoint on something, and then they plaster it and just say, "This is all your lived experience." Mm-hmm. But from what I've seen, and even the amount of ads and companies and pages out there where they are offering various different clinical things for black skin, it's an emerging new market to target youthfulness on black women which is very new we haven't been in this space before because generally before then it was literally cocoa butter shea butter <laughs> and cream your face Kathleen, wash it mm-hmm. and, and then move on but now there are so many different things targeted at black women so yeah there has to be some type of pressure that we are now stepping into 
that our white counterparts have been dealing with for like the last 30 years. I think that I think it goes hand in hand with industry. Because I think it's generally, be there. yeah, I think generally women aging, we're all susceptible to it. We have the extra added bonus of not cracking. But if you do, I'm just saying, if you're someone who has cracked, or is cracking or has cracked, it's an extra pressure because you're bucking something that even white people are noticing that, like, yeah, you lot don't crack. It's a, it's the first thing that a lot of things that our people do. I was like, I oh my. But all of those things do play on insecurities. Yeah. And yeah, it's like yeah, we're yeah. a new target for. Yeah. Oh my god, my face! And it's the also, but, you know, it is. I understand what you're saying about putting something into the air, but also as people that explore things that are out there, it's like what chicken and egg, isn't it? Do you discuss it or do you ignore it, or do you preempt the, the, this, what's going to happen, or do you just ignore it till it happens? You know, take it for what it is. Is this yeah. is one person's opinion? It doesn't mean just because you're published in a particular magazine doesn't mean it's an authority. No, it doesn't not at mean it's all. A, not at a viewpoint all. of many either. Mm. Um, it could you know be an unspoken mean? one. I, though. I would say it's definitely growing. Some of those videos, they do get me. I do watch them, like especially with like eye bag stuff, and they like have the new fluid thing that you can put because you weren't able to do that when I was super interested in getting rid of my bags. But now they can like fill it up and then it like goes and. So we're gonna. But, I think, but I think as you get older, flat. there are. So it's like I said, like you might change your skincare routine. The, mm. That's not. Yeah. yeah. Like it's not foreign to me to think about stuff like that. Yeah. But I probably am thinking about it ten years later than somebody else. Yeah, yeah. you're definitely that's, that. That's my point. Well, that's, that's your thing. point. But I like, think. Yeah, I, I do I think it. like skincare has has exploded. In, yes. yes. In general, and like what people, oil of you lay. I thought it was for forty year olds. Yeah, yeah, like same. twenty year olds. Yeah, use yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they're advertising using yeah. twenty yeah. year olds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Where they they were, because back in the day, it was a mature used, woman, the mature yeah. woman, yeah. a white that's woman with target. silver hair. Yes, that's yeah. who they targeted yeah. in their adver- in their advertising. Yeah. Now they got like that's people yeah. who are not even thirty. But Didn't they have Lady Leisure? Didn't yes, they did. That's exactly what I thought when I saw her. Yeah, and that other media chick. Are yeah, black people just, using all of you? Yeah, it's standard. Oh, yeah. I know loads of people uh, really? back in the day. No. Yeah. No, but what like, now? No, 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 back in the day. I know okay, there no, was no, a no, moment. We're talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh. Alrighty, guys, then we've got to go, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, guys, thank you. That was your aunties could never. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we're on all the listening platforms and we're on YouTube as well. We have a Patreon. Yes, the Patreon is five pounds, ten pounds, and twenty five pounds. Sign up. <laughs> Bye guys. Later. Bye. Bye.